Overactive bladder syndrome is a urological condition related to problems with urination. ORB is specifically defined as urgency with or without urge continence, usually associated with frequency and nocturia. Overall, about 16 to 17 percent of the general population suffer from this disease to some extent. Women are slightly overrepresented. In Europe, about 70 million women suffer from ORB syndrome. The standard urodynamic investigation, to some degree, it's an invasive procedure. Patients need to be catheterized. The duration of the investigation is rather short, 20 to 30 minutes. So diagnostic value is in some way limited. We developed a catheterless long-term urodynamic, which consists of three components. The main component is a measuring capsule called the Vika. We further designed a hand device, a digital micturition diary. The third component is like an alarm pad, which registers every involuntary loss of urine. All three components are synchronized by software. The battery-operated Vika is intravesically inserted through a cystoscope. The Vika is recording bladder pressure continuously for up to three days, then removed also by the cystoscope and analyzed. Due to the long duration of pressure recording and also integrated in patients' day life, the Vika is able to detect significant pressure changes. The detection of those pressure changes in terms of retrusor overactivity might have a significant impact on further treatment of ORB patients. In case of lack of detrusor overactivities, treatment with antimuscarinic drugs might be inefficient. As a conclusion of this, side effects of those drugs can be avoided and a different type of treatment should be offered to these ORB patients. The information content of the Vika procedure is much higher than performing a standard UD. Therefore, all the diagnosis and therapy are rather personalized and individualized. The BIP Aachen is a, a very important laboratory to ensure the maximum of biocompatibility and we went in contact uh, together with Professor Villi in order to prove the biocompatibility of the WICA capsule. We had 97% of positive results knowing that the threshold is 70%, which is completely promising. It attracted several awards and also we were lucky in publishing in peer-reviewed journals. So far in three years we published four articles. At this time we also intensively working on a miniaturization of the VICA to offer this diagnostic tool both to male patients and children.